Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think this is? Oh, well, these are, of course, capsules. And they have kind of an earthy smell to them. And this is Sestance tubulosa. Sestance tubulosa. And it is a wonderful herb for lots of different things. It's a uh, in Chinese medicine, it's called Ru Kong Rong. Ru Kong Rong. And uh, sometimes called the ginseng of the desert. And it grows in Africa and China and Iran and Mongolia and India and all over the East. And it is found in the, the Taklamaka, I hope I'm saying that right, Taklamakan Desert. Taklamakan Desert. And it has a lot of health benefits, and it's great for boosting up our immune system and uh, erectile dysfunction and memory memory capabilities, and helps with fatigue and uh, kidney disease and all kinds of things. And some people think it's the best Chinese herb around. It helps with sexual vitality and erectile dysfunction, and uh, because it contains, contains a couple wonderful alkaloids that help to boost up a person's health and erectile dysfunction problems and it helps with libido also in either men and women and uh, it also promotes nitrous oxide in the body to help with erectile dysfunction and can help with premature ejaculation also and that's one of the few herbs that does help with that. It's, like I said it's a good libido booster so we start getting more neurotransmitters moving and the more of those sexual thoughts start to happen. Uh, it boosts up our immune system because it boosts killer cell production in, uh, in our body. So we have more NK or natural killer cells within the body and we bite off disease, which is really good. Uh, it helps with memory and learning and studies show that uh, with animals and with, with people that it People just have better memories. It also is great for people who have chronic kidney disease because it's a great, really great anti-inflammatory and it seems to keep chronic kidney disease under control. So if any of you have kidney disease, then I highly recommend taking uh, this wonderful herb. It contains vitamins A, B, C, 15 different amino acids, including lysine, <clears throat> a whole bunch of amino acids in general, and uh, a whole bunch of different uh, polysaccharides and amazing agents that help to prevent aging. And like I said, it has a huge amount of antioxidants in it, and so it helps to prevent DNA damage and slow the aging process. Um, it also helps with fatigue and, and the elderly, you know, if we're getting in their 60, 70 year range and you're slowing down, take some of this wonderful herb that will help in a great way. Taking it myself, I know, it just picks you up, you want to get going, but at the same time it doesn't, not like ginseng, it, it's totally different and you have more energy, you think more clearly, you have more, just want to move, but it doesn't increase your blood pressure at all. Uh, which is a great thing where ginseng a lot of times will. In traditional Chinese medicine, uh, it's thought to help with yang deficiency syndrome and treat kidney deficiency also. It builds strength and maintains a buildup of glycogen stores in the muscles and uh, helps the muscle fibers to restore faster. So if you're an athlete, there's something to think about there too and helps the mitochondria to power up the muscles faster and helps with better muscle contractions. Super anti-inflammatory and the anti inflammation is the first step towards disease so uh, if you can take a great anti-inflammatory that helps with arthritis, joint pain, swelling, redness, uh, inflammation of the kidneys, this is a, a great herb for that. You know there's three things to inflammation, redness, swelling, and pain and this helps with all those. It helps with female infer infertility and uh, 
helps with <clears throat> excessive uterine bleeding, infertility, and other challenges of the uh, female reproductive tract, and also helps with urinary incontinence of the female re reproductive tract too, or urinary tract too. And helps with the cardiovascular system and uh, the person's pulse rate goes down, so that's really a great thing. And it seems to heal arteriosclerosis and helps to prevent heart attacks, and like I said, it lowers the blood pressure, which is a great thing. And you know, most things that give us a lot of energy increase our blood pressure, which is just the opposite. It slows the aging process, like I said, and it has some wonderful alkaloids which uh, help with memory, by revitalizing the uh, thymus gland and the gonads and other organs in the body. It increases metabolism. Uh, so if you want to lose weight, and it helps to utilize fat so it goes to be used for energy. So that's a great one too, moving it into utilization. It also helps to increase uh, blood clotting and it increases blood cell production and it also helps to fight off uh, invading bacteria and viruses. And it helps with constipation and it can help with uh, older people with constipation and makes a little more of the mucus in the uh, large intestine so that we have regular and frequent uh, passing of, of feces. As far as we know, there's really, with normal doses, there's really no side effects to uh, cisterna, I mean, excuse me, cisciante tubulosa. And as long as you take somewhere between 400 milligrams and up to 10 grams, so I, I recommend around 4 to 800 milligrams daily. Uh, people can take more. And it can be found as capsules and as powders. And I found it on Amazon and on eBay. And uh, you can Google it, buy this powder or buy this uh, capsule, and it will do your body good. I uh, think this is another wonderful herb that people should have around. Uh, sometimes uh, the things that we don't hear of regularly can make a difference in our lives. But of course, eating right is vital. I have just got off the phone with a lady from Michigan and she was talking about her husband being 70 and uh, he needs to eat more vegetables but he likes to eat lots of meat and he's got gout, he has hypertension, high blood pressure, uh, also a couple other diseases and uh, sometimes when we get older we don't want to change our way. But the more vegetables we to eat, the better we feel. I was just met a man who's 62 and he looks 26 and he's been on a raw foods diet forever and eating no animal protein of any kind, no eggs, no chicken, no fish, no, you know, no red meat, no lamb, no, no nothing, no cheese, no milk, and he looks amazing and he's in great shape also. And he stays outside about five or six hours a day. And so I I recommend that we get rid of the animal protein. It's really not good for us at all. Um, I'm a vegan. I don't eat it at all, and I feel fantastic. I don't have an ache or a pain in my body at all. And you can be this way. At, I'll be 63 next month, and you can be this way and feel great. Let go of, the, of all the animal protein. Look up my whole foods plant-based diet. I'll be glad to help you. Uh, if you click on down below, show more. And uh, there's my contact information with my email and also my phone number. So free, feel free to con connect with me and also my uh, uh, Skype address down there. And I'll be uh, more than welcome to contact me and I'll help you in any way, shape, or form I can. I love you.